Welcome to Texas Tech TV. Brian Jensen, John Harris, Chris Level, the Texas Tech Sports Network radio crew with you for this week's Keys to the Game as the Red Raiders take on the Kansas Jayhawks here at Jones AT&T Stadium. And we're going to get started this week with John because I understand this one might go a while. John? <laughs> well, just take a break. I'm gonna, I'll am going to i get going and we'll, we'll do this. But, you know, occasionally we talk about hidden yards, yards on punt returns or kickoff returns or interception returns or fumble returns that help the offense to give the offense better field position when they take over the ball. But this season, because of penalties, and the Red Raiders are, depending on how you look at it, the, the, at the very bottom of the list, we are the most penalized team in college football for the most number of yards. We lose over 100 yards a ball game because of penalties. The Red Raiders have more penalty yards than they do hidden yards, which is kind of hard to believe that you haven't returned punts or kickoffs, and we have no interception return or punt or fumble return yards uh, to, to account for yet. But more penalty yards than hidden yards. We're not helping the offense in that way. So I, I think that's something that has to show up on Saturday, something positive on all three sides of the ball. The offense has got to limit penalties. The defense and special teams have to make plays. All all of that goes in to helping the Red Raiders find a way to win the ball game. And now that we're out of time, appreciate your – oh, oh, wait. Well, that was really – actually, that was excellent stuff. So let's go over to Chris where it's just a, a – Run of the mill. A little shallow, <laughs> a little less go. deep, a little right. shallower. What, what? Well, you know, I, I think that the, the topic last week was didn't finish. And I think how many times have we seen this football team be in a position to really squeeze and, and, and you know, really end the game – Really early on in Oklahoma State, you had some opportunities to kind of get up on them. Couldn't do it. Last week, you're up two scores a couple times, and you can't, you can't break the neck of the opponent. And I think this time, if you get a chance, and it may not be until the end of the game, so you don't have to finish in the fourth quarter. You could finish them in the second quarter. Because I think a team like this, if you get up on them, you know, they may go, ah, here we go again, we're on the road. They haven't won a road game in, I don't know, 26 or 27 straight. But I'm telling you, this is a team that's going to come in here fired up, bouncing around. They're playing with, for their head coach, their, their interim head coach. They like him, and I think they want him to get the job. So you better be able to match the energy. But if you get an opportunity, squeeze and, and, and take advantage of it if you get up on them. They are 0 and 2 with their interim head coach. True. So maybe that, that's maybe, true. yeah. Um, well, I'm going the exact opposite. That's kind of the same, though. Uh, I think it's a fast start. Finish, they do have to finish, but I think a fast start is what they really need this time around. They're going to have a big crowd. It's homecoming. It's Kansas, a team that you should beat. And this is a team that you can beat pretty handily, I think, if you get off to a fast start and put the big numbers up on the board early. And then keep going and finish. Because if you can do that and make them chase you, this is not a team that is built to chase you. That is guaranteed. One other, one other number, too, that, that I think is part of that hidden yard thing, maybe. You realize that the, the Red Raiders um, are averaging eight yards that they need on third downs. Eight yards on third downs. It has a lot to do with the penalties and some of the other things. But got to cut that stuff down. But that's for another issue of keys to the game. Uh, we certainly hope that you enjoy the Red Raiders against Kansas on whatever television or whatever you watch and listen to the Texas Tech Sports Network radio crew, won't you?